So in this video, we're going to discuss what a function is. Uh, we'll start with the definition, uh, which is that a function is a rule that assigns each element in a set to a unique element in a different set. Now, we're going to look at three different cases, uh, the first being sets of ordered pairs, and we'll determine if they're functions or not. If not, we'll talk about why. Uh, we'll also talk about graphs, and then finally, uh, we'll finish up with determining whether an equation is a function. So let's take a look at the first example. <clears throat> the first example, you can notice you're given a set of order pairs. Now I'm going to copy these down, uh, but I'm not going to copy all of them down from the first example. Uh, in fact, I'm going to stop here at 2, 4, uh, and I'll, I'll finish this up here in just a second. Um, but in terms of a function, a function is a rule that assigns uh, each element in a set to a unique element in a different set. Um, another way of describing a function is that it is a mapping. So when we say assign, we mean that it gets mapped to an, a different element. So one of the easiest ways to determine if something is a function or not uh, is several uh, for several examples given sets of order pairs we can take all of the x's and we can take all of the y's and we can actually construct the mapping so for example here you can see in the first order pair negative 2 would map to 4 so I would draw that as an arrow negative 2 mapping to 4 negative 1 to 1 0 to 0 1 to 1, and finally 2 to 4. Now, <clears throat> we've got our rule assigning each element in a set to a different set, but for it to be a function, it's got to be mapping to a unique element. Uh, unique means only one, uh, and we can visually understand that pretty easily by looking over here at the arrows coming out of the x coordinates. Uh, you can see how there's only one arrow going out, which means that it's mapping to a unique element uh, in our other set, in this case, y. Um, so for this first part, uh, we could say that, yes, this is, in fact, a function. Now, continuing with the same example, uh, let me go ahead and actually insert the additional point now, negative uh, 1, 1. Um, you can see now that our mapping... Um, actually doesn't really change. Um, we do have a repeated x value here, but you can see that negative 1 maps to 1 and negative 1 still maps to 1, so our picture doesn't really change. We still have that same exact one arrow coming out of negative 1, uh, therefore uh, allowing us to s still say that yes, this is a function. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw this last point up here then. So the last point was 1, 5. And I'll tell you what, I might go ahead and redraw this just so everybody can see it a little bit better. Um, our x values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Our y values, uh, 4, 1, 0. Uh, but now I also have this 5 in here. Well a lot of the mappings will still be the same. We still have negative 2 going to 4, negative 1 to 1, 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 2 to 4, but this last mapping right here says that 1 also goes to 5, and that's where you start seeing some trouble. Um, 1 no longer maps to a unique element in a different set. You can clearly see that 1 maps to 1, and one also maps to five. This little explanation right here shows that there's a legitimate contradiction in the definition, um, and what we have in example one then, in totality, would not be a function. And in the second example, and now we're going to be given the graph um, of, of a relation, and we're trying to determine if it satisfies the definition uh, to be a function. So when you're given the graph of something, it's actually pretty easy to determine if it's a function or not. Now, we do want to be, be consistent with our explanations and make sure they're based upon the definition. So one of the things that if you look at uh, this particular graph, you can see that if this is truly a circle centered at 0, 0, um, the two points that you'd be looking up here would be 0, 
4 and 0, negative 4. Uh, and so from the definition in our earlier discussion, 0 would clearly map to 4, 0 would clearly map to negative 4, therefore not a function. Now, um, that's a, the easy example to take a look at, um, but we can generalize it and apply this concept uh, to much more complicated um, um, relations as well. Uh, and most people probably have a little bit of experience with uh, what's called the vertical line test, VLT. It says that if you take a vertical line, and if you scan the relation from left to right, if at any time the vertical line intersects the curve in more than one spot at the same time, uh, then it would not be a function, okay? And the final type of problem uh, that we'll run into, uh, still answering the same question, is this a function or not, uh, would be given an equation. Now, we're going to assume that, that at least in this example, we're not sure what the graph looks like. Um, in general, if you know what the graph looks like, you can run the vertical line test in your head and determine if it is or isn't a function. Uh, but we're going to assume that we don't know. Um, so one of the easiest ways um, is to just kind of move forward with putting together sets of ordered pairs and, and see if you can find a contradiction to the definition. Uh, so for example, what I might do is I might look at, let's just say three. Three is usually a pretty safe uh, number of ordered pairs to try. Um, I usually try one positive, one negative, and then zero just to see what happens. Um, and in this case, it makes sense to start with uh, y being 0. If y is 0, you can see that x would be 0 uh, in the ordered pair that satisfies uh, the original. Um, if y is a positive 1 now, uh, the output there uh, that it came from would then have been a positive 1 for x. And then I would also try a negative number just to see what happens. Uh, and if I put a negative 1 in for y, uh, here's where it really gets interesting because if y is negative 1, x happens to be positive 1. And now we're back into that situation where you can see there's an x value of 1 that maps to two different y values. So in this particular equation, this is not a function.